Traveling Turkeys and today we're going to be talking about the top 20 things to do in Iceland. And to make it even easier for you guys, we've created a top 20 checklist that you should definitely check out. It's free and just click on the link below. And yeah, let's just jump right in. Get ready. <laughs> okay, so just uh, before we jump right in, just one thing to note. So the Icelandic language is incredibly difficult to pronounce. All the words are very long. So we're gonna have to kind of read off those things. <laughs> Just, and we're gonna pronounce it as best we can, but honestly, it's gonna be terribly wrong. So, so just check yeah, out with us. Click on, click on the full article to see the the spelling, the full name, yeah. and pictures of what we're talking about, so you can see. Or just download the checklist because yeah. it also has links to everything, and yeah. you can just check that out. Exactly. Okay, so number twenty is Halgrim Skurka Church, nestled into the heart of. Iceland's capital city Reykjavik, Halgrim Skurka Church is a Lutheran church um, by the modernist architect, hold on, Godan Samuelson. Gotta read the name because it's, it's so cool inside too because mm -hmm. it's so modernist and clean and the lines, yeah. it just feels amazing and the height of it all, it's it's really cool and mm -hmm. I think it's one of my like second favorite churches that I've seen so far and I've seen a lot. A lot of churches, okay. Number 19 is petting Icelandic ponies. Yes, I said that right, petting Icelandic ponies, all right, against the beautiful backdrop of Iceland. Where do we sign up? Boop, boop. Okay. <laughs> all right, number 18 is the Harper Concert Hall, also located in Reykjavik, and similar to the Hallam Skurka Church, it's also inspired by the natural landscape of Iceland. It looks like little hexagonal bubbles, kind of yeah. kind of like Glass. water. And actually the geometric structure of um, the exterior was inspired by one of my favorite Icelandic artists who I actually follow on Instagram and I'll put the link below. <laughs> but yeah, if you're obsessed with architecture like we are, this is a must see while you're in Iceland. Number 17 is the abandoned plane crash on the beach. Now there is an actual name to it. I wasn't even gonna attempt to try that name, okay? So just check out the article or the checklist and look at it. <laughs> it starts with an S. Yeah, and it's located <laughs> along the southern coast of Iceland. It's a 40-year-old abandoned plane, uh, and it's like I said, it's literally on the beach. I mean, who wouldn't want to check it out, right? Because it's awesome. Like, And if you're a fan of Justin Bieber, uh, if you saw the I'll show you, is that I'll show you? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you video, right? That He's in it. He's skateboarding on the top of it. So if you want to get some epic pictures. I make your Instagram jealous. Yes. Boom. Go. Head on over there. Number 16 is Watch the Stroker Geyser. So located along the Golden Circle Trail, you can find a lot of Iceland's major attractions there. And one of them is Stroker Geyser, which is in a geothermal field where they have lots of different geysers around there, but the most active one is Stroker Geyser and it goes off every couple minutes. So be sure to check that out. It's really amazing. Yeah. Number 15 is hike the Karen Volcanic Crater. So this is a little bit off the beaten path and most tours don't go there, but we do list one tour that does go there. So check it out. Fun fact, fun facts. <laughs> but you can walk inside to down to the bottom where the water's at. Yeah, it's so, pretty it's cool. Really it's only like a little lake at the bottom, yeah, and then, but it still has like a cone all the way around. So number 13 is walk the bridge between two continents. So if you've ever dreamed about being in two places at once, this is where you want to go, okay? If you've watched A Walk to Remember one too many times like we have, yes. trust me, we were excited, okay? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, right now, you're straddling the state line. Okay. You're in two places at once. Everybody's dancing in the <laughs> so basically what it is, is it's literally a bridge as I said and it basically connects the European and North American tectonic plates. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool and literally just stand on it and you're like, hey, what's up? I'm in the middle. Ooh, 
to places. Yeah, <laughs> and you can walk over the bridge and also mm -hmm. walk underneath Wonder it. Yeah. Plus, it's set against this really epic, dramatic landscape. All right, speaking of dramatic landscapes and tectonic plates, number 12 is Visit Thingvellir National Park. Mm -hmm. This is also located along the Golden Circle Trail that we were kind of talking about before. Thingvellir is famous for being the backdrop of Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So if you're a fan of that show, you definitely want to check that out. Yeah. Number 11 is Walking Along the Black Sand Beach. Black sand, basalt formations, and caves, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so it's named as one of the top 10 most beautiful beaches by National Geographic. Located along Iceland's southern coast, so what happened was it's basically formed by a bunch of lava that poured into the ocean. And the cooling had formed these basalt formations. So you'll see it looks, I mean, it just looks awesome. And that's why also the sand is so black. So number 10 is enjoy the natural hot springs. There are many hidden natural hot springs scattered around Iceland and what's better than a fun hot spring hunt where you can drive along a dirt path into the middle of nowhere and hike through the expansive wilderness to track down a hidden pool. I mean it's awesome. So number 9 is a canyon that I can't pronounce the name, I'm gonna be honest. It's Faja Fucker. I don't know. Look at the, the article, okay? Look at the checklist, you'll see it. But <laughs> it's a canyon that's located along the southern coast. Uh, the canyon was most recently made famous by yet another epic Icelandic film location for Justin Bieber's I'll Show You video. But don't let that deter you. This massive canyon is truly magnificent. So while the hike along the edges though is not strenuous, it's pretty easy, but it can be quite windy, so be really careful and stay on the pass because you don't want to ruin your vacation by falling. Yeah, and it's and that's, it's kind of hard because if you are trying to recreate that Justin Bieber video, you know, he does go on the edge, and yeah. I'm not saying that we didn't do that, but what I am saying is that you shouldn't do that. Exactly. <laughs> Number eight is Vestenmeyer Island, also known as the Westman Islands in English, mm -hmm. is truly one of the most beautiful places in Iceland, and in our opinion, has the best sunset we've ever seen. It's absolutely stunning, I kid you not, yeah. you will love it. You will love it, right along the coast, it's like <clears throat> insanity. It is. Vestenmeyer is comprised of a group of small islands, some of which have just one tiny house on, sitting on top, <laughs> and you're like, you how do you even get there? Yeah, okay. how do you get there? I'm still questioning that. Yeah, because it's a high <laughs> island, okay? The best time of the year is to go in late July. Not only are you able to take advantage of the midnight sun, but it's also peak puffin watching season, which is oh, super yeah. freaking cool. <laughs> and um, and when the island hosts its ice, Iceland's uh, largest outdoor music festival. Yeah, which, which we want to go to so bad. So yeah. We plan on going to that. Yeah, it's like different types of music, and then you can, they have like fire at the top. Be sure to check out Cheyenne Mar Aquarium where you can meet Toady the Puffin. Oh my gosh. He's, he's so, so cute. cute. He's so cute. Oh and like there's a lot of pictures online where you can actually hold Toady but we went there and they said that they stopped doing that yeah. because um, it was just too much for him and everything. We did get to pet him but we just couldn't like hold him in hold our hands. Hold him in our hands. But, oh, yeah. And we were there first. We were like there early in the morning so there was nobody else there. So we yeah got, that's we got a pro tip. Yeah, we pro got tip. to get like a personal <laughs> pro tip. Get there in the morning. Okay. Oh, and he has a little jersey. Okay, because they love soccer out there. So number seven is Skagafoss Skagafoss. Waterfall. Skagafoss. <laughs> it's just fun to say. Yeah. But it's set against a massive cliffside and surrounded by farming pastures. Skagafoss Waterfall is a must-see for a nature adventure addict visiting Iceland's southern coast. It's incredibly awesome, okay? So standing at its base, you'll be overwhelmed with its sheer size, but also be prepared to be drenched since it's hard to get really close without getting completely soaked. Number six is Salandrafoss Waterfall. Ever wish you could walk behind a waterfall? Well, here is your chance, okay? This is your chance. Yeah. Take it. So it's surrounded by a field of wildflowers that are in full bloom during the summer. And this waterfall is amazing because it's one of the few waterfalls in the world that you can walk behind. 
So number five is Gold Fox Falls. <laughs> Gold Fox. Gold Fox. It's located along the Golden Circle route. Um, it's an incredibly massive series of waterfalls that plunge into the deep canyon. Yeah, it's huge. Like, it is huge. huge. All right, so number four is the Blue Lagoon. At this point, it feels like you can't think about visiting Iceland without going to the Blue Lagoon, you know? You can't. Like, our social media feeds are filled with gorgeous <laughs> pictures of, like, steam emanating from this, like, turquoise water surrounded by these mossy lava fields. Mm -hmm. But as one of, of Iceland's top attractions, it definitely does not disappoint. It, it is really that beautiful. The water is that turquoise. It is. It's insane. Looks almost fake, but yeah. it's not. So, number three is Batnajogul Ice Caves, however you pronounce that, but it's an ice cave. Two words, ice, ice caves. caves. All right, do, ice do we caves. need to say more? Do we? I mean, who wouldn't do we? want to spend the day exploring these natural wonders? I mean, ice caving and glacier hiking. Number two is the Glacier Lagoon. So visiting the Glacier Lagoon is a once in a lifetime experience mm -hmm. that feels like almost out of this world. It you does, know? it really does. It's it's insane. It's, it's like insane. you're on Mars, not on Mars, but like, not on Mars. like a water, a water, a water, water uh, um, planet. 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 There we go. So all of Iceland is beautiful and the sheer variety of epic landscapes are unlike any other place. But the Glacier Lagoon is truly magical from its crystal still waters to its massive glacier shards that float and break apart in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. It is Iceland's crown jewel and yeah. an absolute must see on your trip to Iceland. Okay, so topping our list of the top 20 must see and do things in Iceland is, drum roll please, seeing the Northern Lights. <laughs> During their peak viewing season between November and March, you can see auroras almost every night during the long winter nights in Iceland. And when we say long, we're talking about up to 19 hours of darkness or 19 hours of prime aurora borealis watching, depending on how you look at it. But don't make the mistake of planning your northern light hunt during a full moon because it will drown out the show. As you guys can tell, there's no shortage of activities to do in Iceland. Tourism has been growing over the years and for good reason. It's awesome. With its diverse landscapes, luscious skies, and overall tranquil state, it definitely tops our list as one of the most amazing places to visit. If that list of 20 doesn't convince you to go, then you could always go to see the filming locations for Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and even Fast and Furious 8. Go on, get your film geek on, and while you're at it, you might as well check out some of the activities we just talked about. Come on, you know you want to. All right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed our list of the top 20 things to do in Iceland and that it gave you some great ideas and travel inspiration. We always love to hear about other people's adventures, so just let us know in the comments below what you think should be added to the list or what you guys are most excited about seeing in Iceland. And make sure you subscribe to our channel to see all of our latest travel videos. Just hit that subscribe button below. And don't forget to check out our top 20 checklist. It's in the link below. Until next time, Turkey Crew, we out. We out. Woo!